Hello dear students. In this lecture, we are going to discuss Western blot technique in plant biotechnology techniques. So the term Western blot was given by W. E. Neil Burn Burnett in year 1981. And what is Western blot? Western blot is a blotting technique for proteins like we have already discussed in previous lecture about southern blotting and northern blotting that southern blotting is when DNA is transferred from a gross gel to a membrane and northern blotting is when RNA is transferred from a gross gel to a membrane. Similarly, we have third technique western blotting which is the transfer of proteins from polyacrylamide gel to PBDF or nitrocellulose membrane. So, the western blot or protein immunoblot is a technique to de detect specific proteins in a mixture of uh, proteins. Now, this is a general method to identify the presence of a single protein in a mixture of proteins and western blot is routinely used for verification of protein production after cloning. Say we want to check whether after cloning protein protein has been produced or not so if we can check it with western blotting and it is also used in various medical diagnostic procedures now the sample of protein in western blot undergoes uh, protein denaturation which is followed by gel electrophoresis and after that a primary antibody recognizes and binds to a specific target protein then in the next step the electrophoresis membrane which is pbdf membrane or nitrocellulose membrane is washed in a solution containing the primary antibody before excess antibody is washed off and then uh, the secondary antibody is added which recognizes and binds to primary antibody now the secondary antibody can be visualized through various methods such as staining, immunofluorescence or radioactive methods which allows indirect detection of the specific target protein. So this was a brief introduction of western blotting technique. Now in this uh, picture you can see what is happening. Now you can see that this is a gel. So this gel has uh, protein band. So, you, you, you can see here there are three wells. In the first well, we have marker proteins and so these are uh, represented in kilodaltons. For example, this is 75 kilodalton which is the highest molecular weight and we have the lowest molecular weight as 15 kilodaltons and then in second and third lane, we have uh, protein mixtures. So, uh, they are representing different molecular weight protein bands. Now, in western blotting, you can see that this is a gel. Now, from this gel, the uh, a replica of protein is made on the membrane. And this membrane can be PVDF membrane or the um, uh, nitrocellulose membrane. And the transfer method can be electroblotting or via capillary action. And then, after this, it is, uh, it this membrane is processed and then auto radiogram is say developed so if the bands are present uh, of the um, protein which we are checking it gives a uh, signal so here you can see that this this is an auto radiogram and this band is developed so this is an example here which represents electro blot, uh, blotting or western blotting and then visualization of the target now, in the protein. detail pro procedure what happens that first point is or the first step is gel electrophoresis is done to separate native or denatured proteins uh, like uh, we can do uh, polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis or page so first step is page is done second step is it is followed by electrophoretic transfer of proteins into membrane which is made of PVDF, which is polyvinyl, uh, polyvinylidene difluoride or it can be transferred to nitrocellulose membrane. 
the mo but for western blotting uh, the most commonly used method for transferring the proteins is electroblotting so instead of capillary uh, transfer like we did in southern and northern blotting electroblotting is preferred in western blotting now what is electroblotting electroblotting uses an electric uh, current to pull the negatively charged proteins uh, so all the proteins which are present in the mixture are made negatively charged uh, with the presence of with the help of sts so uh, because of high negative charge of sts all the proteins they get negative charge and electroblotting uses an electric current to pull the negatively charged proteins from the gel towards the positively charged anode and into the pvdf or nitrocellulose membrane the proteins move from the gel on the membrane while maintaining their organization they had within the gel so the third point means that a replica of uh, bands will be formed on the membrane whether it is pvdf membrane or nitrocellulose membrane then after that in fourth step immunostaining is done to visualize a certain protein on blot membrane and they are stained with antibodies specific to the target protein then lastly the membrane is stained with a secondary antibody that recognizes the first antibody and then the detection is done by various methods so here in this you can see the different steps like in a the picture a this is a electro this is a polyacrylamide gel so you can see that um, the bands are there and in second step which is your b picture b the transfer is taking place on the pvdf membrane so this is electroblotting technique shown here because uh, you can see that the negative electrode and positive electrodes are shown here so the proteins are transferred uh, from gel to this pvdf membrane with the help of electric current once the transfer has taken place we say that this blot is western blot now we have to visualize our we have to check our target protein so this is done with the help of primary antibodies say this is the protein so we are giving primary antibody and then secondary anti antibody so this secondary antibody if uh, it will give a signal say uh, so so it uh, so enzyme say converts a substrate to a product which gives signal so this signal can be uh, checked by various methods and say we have developed a auto radiogram or a x-ray film so this is how the signal we see on the auto radiogram so this these are the four uh, steps which are shown nicely in this picture now what we have discussed so far so in uh, we have what we have discussed in the procedure of western blotting first step is electrophoresis perform electrophoresis so proteins are first uh, separated by gel electrophoresis then transfer takes place transfer of the proteins from gel to membrane so they are transferred to a blotting membrane which is usually made of nitrocellulose or pvdf which is probed with a primary antibody specific to the protein of interest or target protein so after that uh, block block with blocking buffer uh, this means that it this is a step which prevents the binding of primary antibody which is used in the next step to membrane and then the membrane is incubated with primary antibody primary antibody binds to the target protein then washing is done with the wash buffer so that the unbound primary antibody is washed away after that it is incubated with the secondary antibody the secondary antibody recognizes and binds the primary antibody and secondary antibody is conjugated to an enzyme or other material that allows the detection of protein of interest which appears as a band on the blot and after that washing is done with washed buffer so that the unbound secondary antibody is washed away and finally the detection is done using method of choice uh, you can choose any method for detection 
so the target protein can be detected by calorimetric method fluorescent method luminescent method uh, depending upon the secondary antibody what we have chosen so this was the thorough uh, this was the detailed steps which are followed in western blotting technique now this is this is a western blot setup this is showing a western blotting electro blotting technique so you can see that this is a cathode, cathode which is negatively charged and this is uh, anode which is positively charged and so these are the uh, proteins bands which you can see uh, which uh, this is a, pic a pictorial description so the all the negatively charged electro um, uh, proteins will um, will transfer will move towards the positively charged anode and then uh, they will transfer they will be transferred from gel to the pvdf membrane using this electric current so what is there in this uh, whole setup so a gel cast between glass plates and in this whole setup we have gel in the center and we have transfer membrane on one side we have filter paper pad support grid so that the electroblotting transfer takes place nicely so this is actually a western block setup and this is another technique of western blotting where the transfer is taking place via capillary action so you, here you can see that this is a gel and this gel is kept uh, like a, um, a setup of southern blot and the capillary action transfers the proteins from gel to the membrane this membrane can be a pvdf membrane or nitrocellulose membrane then it is treated with primary antibody and secondary antibody and then a auto radiogram is developed if uh, this is a radio labeled antibody and then we can visualize these bands on the auto radiogram so this is how western blotting technique takes place i hope you have understood the topic and please refer books good books uh, to understand uh, it better and we will be meeting in the next lecture so thank you students